Hello friends, welcome back to this channel. Hope everyone is fine. So on that note, we can start this week 4 assignment of Joy of Computing using Python course. So friends, before that, please watch the video till the end. Uh, don't skip the video because you may lose in, uh, useful information. Or if I change any uh, solution in between, you may be able to note the change. So please watch full video. So I hope all these solutions are 100% correct. Even though if you have any doubts, uh, please ask me in the comment section. I will try to reply for the valid queries. And moving on to the first question. Which of the following statements are true with regard to magic square? So we know that the sum of each row should be m. And uh, the sum of each column should be m. And also the sum of each diagonal should be m. m is a constant here. That means the sum of each row, each column and each diagonal should be a single constant value. That is a magic square. So, the probable answers for first question. First option, second option and third option. And moving on to second question. Which of the following statements hold true about n in the magic square? n denotes number of rows and number of columns. So, we know that uh, magic square is an n by n it's a square matrix so here there can be n, m, n may be 3 and n may be 4 and so on so n can be both even and odd and also even so here if you see the fourth option n can take any value but uh, we cannot take any value I think because here any value represents decimal values also they may count so I think option C is the answer n can be even or odd number so uh, uh, as per that logic I will go with option C but not fourth option moving on to third question which of the following statements are true regarding the magic squares? So we already know that magic square is always a square matrix. And the other point, the sum of each row on each column is n into n square plus 1 by 2. So fourth option is also correct along with first option. And moving on to fourth question, what will be the output of the following code? Here, it is a uh, multi-line comment. Generally, we use hashtag. That is what single line call, uh, comment. And these three single quotations in a row is uh, specifying that it is a multi-line comment. So, it does not give any output and also any error. So, option 3, no output. It is the answer. So, for fourth question, Third option is correct. And moving on to fifth question. Which of the following operator is used to raise the exponent to a number? Generally, uh, in other programming languages, most of the languages, we use cap symbol. But in Python, we use two asterisk symbols. Here, two number and two asterisk and three means 2 cube, 2 raised to the power of 3 raised to the power of 2. So, here we use 2 asterisk symbol, that is third option. And moving on to sixth one, suppose there is a movie with 3 letters, how many combinations of names are possible? So, for this, the answer is third option 17,576 combinations are possible. And moving on to seventh one, what should be the value of A, B, C, and D? Guys, we already know that sum of diagonals, uh, rows, and columns are equal. So here already they give sum of diagonal, sum of numbers in a diagonal. Six plus five plus four is equals fifteen. So let's do uh, for this row. 2 plus 4 plus d is equals 15. So d equals 15 minus 6 that is 9. 
so 4 here d is 9 so third option you can directly say third option is the correct answer for seventh question Moving on to 8th question, so here they gave a code, they are asking the output, output of the following code. So when I did this code, I got uh, the answer as Harry Potter, Avengers and John Wick. If you clearly observe, Harry Potter is not in L2. You can see Harry Potter is not in L2. That means not in list 2. And Avengers is not in list 2. And John Wick. John Wick is also not in list 2. And remaining others. Matrix, Spider-Man is in list 2. So it gave the uh, output which is only uniquely present in L1. It gave out only unique elements of L1. So... The answer is first option print unique movies of list one list l1 and moving on to the ninth question what will be the output of the following code so we, we know that in the range 5 to 20 if i is divisible by 5 it means if it is a multiple of 5 we should print i square so for 5 it is divisible by 5 so we will we'll get 5 square and next so next day 10 10 is divisible by 5 so 10 square and next it is 15 so 15 square and 20 is not considered because the it, it is not just before the value that means if this is n then n minus 1 only considered so 5 to 19 is considered 19 is not divisible by 5. So only these three values will be the output. That means fourth option. Print all perfect squares with square roots between 5 to 19 and divisible by 5. 20 is not considered guys because we know that in range the, uh, the last value is not considered and it only considered just before the last value. That means only 5 to 19. So, fourth option is correct one. Moving on to the final question of this assessment. So, a perfect number is the positive integer equal to sum of its positive divisors. So, which function will return true if the number is a perfect number? So, the correct answer I have got is first option. First option is the correct answer. So, friends, these are the solutions for week 4 joy of computing using Python course. Hope this video is helpful for you. If you feel the same, please subscribe our channel, like this video and share to your friends also. So if you have any doubts, please ask me in the comment section. And before submission uh, day, once again check the comment section because uh, if, if there are any changes, actually there will be no changes. Uh, if in a rare case, if there are any changes, I will mention in the comment section. So once visit the comment section and uh, submit the assignment on the final day so keep supporting us like this until then goodbye thank you